What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Myers World and today we're going to be predicting the Madden 17 championship players that will advance to the next stage. All right, so we're going to take a look at some of the contestants first. Redeem your Madden Championship. Hey, if you think Skimble will advance out of the group stages. A correct pick earns you. Okay. Uh, set locks on Friday, April 28th at 10.30 a.m. All right. Okay, so we're going to go through the names. And I'm going to let you know at this point in the year who I know and who I've just heard of. All right. So Skimbo, I know Skimbo. Um, I've spoke to him on Twitter several times. Cool dude. You know what I'm saying? Dude got a crazy bunch scheme. Serious Mo. I want to go ahead and again and say R.I.P. to his father. That's definitely something that, you know, I put aside everything else that's going on. I never really had uh, major interactions with Sirius Mo, but a lot of people had a lot of opinions about him. Me, myself personally, I like to get to know an individual first before I pass any type of judgment on him and stuff like that. I really enjoy this dude's streams. He shows me real emotion. He really cares about the productivity of Madden, and he sees that there are things that needs to be changed. And some people may be mad at him now for that, but they will love him later when some of those changes are implemented. So much love to Sirius Mo. Pro Canes, I actually know this guy. I think I might have banned him in my stream on Twitch, but I'm not sure. He, he had a crazy C route scheme that was running rampant um, until they patched it, and now man coverage um, locks up um, uh, C routes, which is very unfortunate. But we'll see how that works out. Killer Mike, I didn't know much about this guy. I do know that he beat Young Kiv, and I do know that he had beaten True Boy. But I was very impressed. Um, I know that he uh, Beast Mode. What was, who who did he beat? Was that Beast Mode Mac? I don't think it was Beast Mode Mac. It was FMB Monster or something. Who muffed the punt? I don't remember. I drink a lot. But the way he won his last tournament to get into this, it, that's, I'm not worried about that part. The way he played and the skill level that this man showed, I was very, very impressed with some of his gameplay. So shout out to Killer Mike. D Jones, I played this guy last year. I haven't played him this year, but um, I don't expect him to do much. I think this guy is a bum. Um, I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm just saying I don't think that he's a caliber of player that's going to possibly win it all or advance out of the group stage just based on the way the game has changed. In Madden 16, you were able to blitz nobody and get sacks, and that was pretty much his premise of gameplay. He would come out, man everybody up, double team him, put the coach on somebody, and then just run around like a douchebag with his middle linebacker. Very, very disgusting, but that's what the game allowed him to do. So I'm not mad at him at the individual. Keep in mind, I have no personal issues with none of these guys. I'm just saying my opinion. You guys may not feel the same. I'm not asking you to feel the same. I'm just letting you know my opinions. Young Kid, we all know Young Kid, man. He's been battling for a very, very long time to bring home that trophy. He hasn't been able to do it yet. Um, you know, looking at his game and analyzing his game, I think that he's right there. I just think that sometimes the, the moment has still been catching up with him and he does things in a manner in which he wouldn't usually do it when he's not at a live event. So I think he's getting into it. He's very, very young. So we're gonna see this name for a long time to come. Um, he was one of those gurus in uh, Madden 16 that had a lot of pressure with like nobody really coming, like sending four or five guys, whatever like that, sometimes sending three. But after the patches, it kind of got crazy. Um, he's gone through a lot of frustration, a lot, lot of frustration this year. I've watched his games, um, you know, during the EA Sports NFL on Twitch, and um, he's gone. He's gotten a lot of bad breaks. I expect this guy to do some big things coming in the near future, though. As Madden continues to grow and as the gameplay becomes better and more people look into certain things that are going on, I think that we have a good shot of um, advancing and making Madden into what it should be, um, one of the best. Um, games available on a console. Uh, joke, uh, his name states it all. He's, he, in my opinion, that's just what I, listen, I'm not trying to be, this guy banned me, uh, not banned me, he, um, he blocked me on Twitter because I put out a video where, um, what, what is his name? Boogs. OG Boogs, he, um, he got a crazy catch and it was just all for, it wasn't like I was dissing joke, I was just trying to bring up the point that a lot of the animations in the game are ridiculous and he blocked me on Twitter for that. So he, he, in my opinion, is an outright joke. I don't expect him to do anything. I, you know, when you have a name like joke, you can't expect much. You know what I'm saying? It's like having a name like small penile. You, more than likely, you're going to have a small penile. You know, like what is the fun thing about that? So I, I don't expect this guy to do much. So that won't be a pick for me. Uh, Ghost Madden, he's played a lot of tough games. He's come out out of a lot of tournaments. Um, I've never actually had interaction with him, but I've seen him play several times. Um, he, he has potential. He has potential in the game. I can't say that um, he doesn't. I, I liked some of the things that I saw, some of his schemes he was running. So we're going to go back to that in a second. Beast Mode Mac. People consider him one of the luckiest players to ever play the game. Um, 
watching his games, I could understand why he did get a lot of crazy things that went his way. But I think in most of his games, there were equally equally amounts equal amounts of BS, and he was able to win one of those championships, uh, whichever one it was. Um, I can't remember the club series or whatever it was, but uh, congratulations to him, man. He won that championship. Uh, whichever one it was and uh, regardless of his luck or not i think every player needs a little bit of luck to be successful in madden so um I, I gotta consider him as somebody that that might be able to advance out the group stage i'd be strafing i'm not sure if this is the guy that tried to celebrate and ended up losing the game to true boy but if it is I don't, was it him i don't know but he i know he played some really really good games and um he he had an overall good scheme i think um it, that last, if it was him that did that early celebration, I think he tried to dab it and the guy fell down and then True Boy stopped him. I, I'm not, I don't remember exactly if he was the guy, but if he was the guy, um, he had a pretty good scheme. He just was never able to bounce back from that. Um, and um, I think it really cost him, but I'm pretty sure that I've seen him play a lot of times. And um, I think he's a decent player. I haven't seen him a lot, but I've seen him a couple times. S. Dello, he was known as the field goal blocker uh, king. Uh, actually, um, and what was that last year's tournament or something like that? Nobody wanted to kick him. Oh no! Yeah, like early on when the, the first championship, he was there, and uh, people said he shouldn't have been there. He was lucky to be there. All kinds of stuff, whatever it was. But he showed that he had a scheme that was able to keep him going, and it was pretty big time, man. So a lot of people sleep on Esdelo. I kind of like what he had to put out, man. Uh, to be honest with you, because you can't just keep calling it luck when the guy consistently makes plays. So uh, lights out. I think he's part of Madden Daily. Um, he played, I think S. Della was one of the guys that knocked him out by blocking his field goal um, in the early last year Madden 17 tournament. I can't remember the name of the tournament, but Lights Out has a pretty decent scheme. I'm not sure if he's running the jumbo, um, but if he is running the jumbo, it may get him to a decent part of the series, but I don't think that he would ultimately go on to win it because I don't think that jumbo is as good as people think it is. Um, it's a lot of different ways to completely stop it and shut it down that people just haven't realized yet, but we have to wait and see exactly how that works out. Um, but yeah, well, you know, lights out, uh, he, he appears to be a pretty decent guy and, um, he has a pretty decent scheme. If I do remember correctly that he was running that jumbo scheme, uh, problem, right? We all know who problem, right? Is the goat won the most Madden tournaments in, uh, Madden history. Um, he, he's been a solid play over the years. He's really taken a step back over the last couple of years, whether it's because of the overall gameplay, um, the mechanics of the game, the way that the defense has changed. Uh, things that I talk about specifically in my videos here at GMI's World, and I've been in constant contact with EA developers, including Rex Dixon, about. Maybe that's a reason why Problem has fallen off, but he hasn't been the same player. He just hasn't been. He just hasn't been. Um, it is what it is. That's the fact of the matter. But you got to give him credit for still having his name involved in these tournaments because it's very difficult to stay consistent with the way Madden has been changing over the years. ERG scheming. I watched him play. Um, I think this was a guy that wasn't showing a lot of emotion. I kind of like that. Uh, but at the same time, I think the lack of emotion cost them in certain games because you have to be able to let some stuff out. Not yelling. I would never do that. I played uh, tournaments back when Madden was a really good game, um, you know, in Brooklyn projects, Bronx projects, um, all over the place in New York, man. You, nobody really goes that wild. Um, so I understand just holding it in. But you always have a hype crew with you. Like I always had a couple dudes with me, but we still had respect because we didn't want, you know, guns to go off or anything like that unless it was necessary. But um I like his lack of emotion. I like his game. I think that he could possibly uh, progress. Drag, Drag was decent. I watched Drag play a couple of times. He was decent in several different tournaments, um, in several different venues. I liked his scheme overall. I liked what he's able to do bo on both sides of the ball. Little man, I, I don't think that he has what it takes. I'm not knocking his game. Um, I think he, what, what was he wearing? He was wearing like some kind of shirt with some kind of character on it. I don't remember what it was. I don't know if it was Mickey Mouse. That wasn't Mickey Mouse, right? I, I don't know what it was. But I, it has nothing to do with that. I just don't know if he has what it takes right now to win this. So I have eight picks, right? And I'm going to go through and just start picking them as we go down and see what happens. So Skimbo, I definitely think that Skimbo will advance. I, I'm going to... Okay, hold up. Let me see. I got... How many trues I got? I got all trues. So that's good. I'm not even going to... You know, whatever. I'm not sugarcoating anything. I think that um, Skimbo is definitely going to advance. Um, Serious Mo, I, I love his emotion. I love what he does. I, I really do hope that he catches a break and he advances. Um, let me see who else we got. Okay, Pro Canes, I doubt that he will go to C route. The C route was his main offense. They've since patched that. I don't like it. Killer Mike, I see him going. I think this man 
he, I think he's scary. I, I you know, I, I think he's one of those opponents that's just really, really scary, uh, in my opinion. Um, D Jones, absolutely not. Young Kiv, I see Young Kiv advancing out the group stage. Um, I definitely do see that happening. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's go. What else we got here? Joke, he's a joke. Ghost Madden. Hmm. 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 I, I really think that I think he's tough. I think he's tough, bro. I think he's tough. I think he could do it. I think Ghost Madden can do it, bro. I really do. I, I think he. I, I. I. I've watched him play several games. I think he could do it, man. I think he could do it. I think Ghost can do it. I think he can do it, man. Um, Beast Mode Mac. They said he was lucky, and plus he just won a tournament before. I don't think he's gonna do it again. I'd be strafing. Hmm. Hmm. I really like. Okay. I'm gonna go with. I like scheming. I like. I, if this is the same guy that I think he wasn't showing a lot of emotion, I, I really like scheming. Um, I gotta be very, very careful with my last two though, just to make sure I get them all correct. Lights out. I don't. You know, S. Dello. I think. I think he has. I think people they really sleep on this man, bruh. I think they really sleep on S. Dello, and and I love when people sleep on dudes, bruh. I love that. That 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 really gets my blood. I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pick him. I'm gonna pick S. Dello. I'm gonna pick him to advance, and then I be strafing. I like this guy. I, I think I think he can do some stuff. I think he could do some things, man. I think he could definitely do some things. So I'm gonna pick those eight. Those are my eight to advance. Um, you know, I watch a lot of Madden. A, a lot of Madden. I play a lot of Madden, regardless of how I feel about the gameplay. I support um, pretty much these guys that go out. These 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 people that put the time in to do it. Um, I support what they do because I couldn't do it. Not with the way the game is right now. I couldn't put that time in because I would have a nervous breakdown and three eyeballs missing out of my head and I only have two. So I wouldn't be able to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go with Skimbo, Serious Mo, Killer Mike, Young Kiv, Ghost Madden, IB Strafin, S. Dello, and Scheming. Those are my eight. Who are yours? Until next time, one love.